Hey folks, how are you doing? It's Richard here from Bikepacking Adventures. I'm in the wonderful, spectacular surroundings of the North Yorkshire National Park. Just crossing Bransdale uh, Moor. Absolutely beautiful weekend, as you can see, blue skies. Doing a 300 kilometer mountain bike route as a precursor to the, uh, the Great British Escapades, which I want to talk about now. I often get asked down in the questions on Instagram and even in the WhatsApp group for the event itself, what bike are you riding this year? So I thought I'd show you exactly this, the setup that I'm going to be using in the Great British Escapades in a few weeks' time. So unlike last year, I uh, won't be riding it on a gravel bike, the Nuke Proof Digger will stay at home. I've opted for a mountain bike setup this, this year and uh, could have gone hardtail, that's probably more appropriate for the GBE, but I thought sidestep N plus one and uh, you know go straight all in and get myself a mountain bike. So this one is the specialized Epic Evo full suspension mountain bike 2.35 tires 51 tooth chain ring and is it 32 on the front I think it's 32 tooth on the front that's right carbon frame of course trying to go light as possible got various things hanging off it um, I'll show you what some of that now Got in the center frame, so we've got the shock, two water bowls, Fidlock, got a, I think this is an 800 mil and a 400, or thereabouts anyway. Got inner tube on the down tube, spare lube, um, spare sealant, we've got a water purification uh, device there, CO2 canister. Shall we move up to the finishing kit, I think? So, up here, I've got my uh, Garmin 530, which is needs to be placed at some point. Garmin, please send me a free one, that'd be awesome. An exposure light from Toro, that's the, well, ex the Toro from Exposure Lights, rather. It's the Mark 13, perfect for off road, but I've used it for Evo. And it's got their attachment running to the stem as well. And as you see at the moment, got a gilet hanging off the handlebars itself. Up front here, I've got a ProGuard um, from RRP. That's the Max version, just protecting myself from the elements on the trail. I uh, did try to get one on the rear, but I couldn't get, quite get to fit, so uh, we've not got one. And as you can see, poking through the other side there, is a cat eye light hanging down. Um, yeah, I've got. I'm going to be running with the tail fin for cargo, and I think it's been absolutely brilliant for this little trip. And um, we've got a rear light in there, and some arm warmers just uh, randomly hanging off. Now up front here and on, on the uh, top tube, got the they've got the tail fin zip lock and it's not a zip lock i don't know what you call that but it's awesome and at the moment what i've got left is some chamois cream a 10,000 milliamp power bank a few chocolate bars and, and things like that and a cable for my phone and a cable for the garmin um i'll show you inside the telephone when i get home we'll go through the contents of that and uh, talk about the sleep system that will be taken for the great British escapades. Hey folks, as you can see back home, it's a Monday evening after a day, long day at work. Bags on the table, I thought I'd show you through what I took with me in terms of belongings and things. Just wanted to make a bit of correction. This is the uh, water filter, which I took with me to the North Yorkshire Moors. I'm from uh, Sawyer. This will not be going with me on the great British escapades. Just wanted to clear that up. Anyway, let's have a look in the bag. Pretty much everything inside this bag I will be taking with me in a little over three weeks time from the time we're recording. So stay off the table for a moment. I've got a dry bag. It's actually uh, doubles up as one of those um, bags to help inflate the pad. 
but it says it goes, it doubles up as a, a dry bag as well. And inside there, ground sheet, won't be taken out, throw that away. And the actual sleeping pad itself, this one is, uh, oh, is it from Trichology? I can't remember which model it is. So, sleeping pad, ground sheet. Keep mentioning these uh, in previous videos. Puffy pants. Very fetching. But <laughs> they keep you really warm, so take those along. Now, this one, question mark on this, whether I will take or not, but it's, it's like a thermal uh, top. Might take that. Yeah, let's throw it over there. Got some leg warmers. A season one sleeping bag. I've also got the how the outkit down jacket. So the question I was asking myself earlier was do we take this and this? Or do I not bother with taking the fleecy top and just take the down jacket? Don't know yet. It depends on the weather of the event itself. Uh, and in fact, if it looks like it's going to be rain, uh, I may switch this out for the rain jacket. Because this is not waterproof. Woolly hat. Get my head warm. That's where you lose most of your heat. Uh, <laughs> so I'm clean. Uh, hiking socks, keep your toes warm. I always take along this uh, sleeping bag liner. This is from Sea to Summit. Needs a bit of an earring, but that taking that along as well. And uh, final boot, few items. Uh, got these mittens. Now it's a bit cold, even in in June in the summer in the middle of nowhere and just throw these on and keep my hands warm and finally at the bottom of the bag you guessed it the bivvy bag and this one is the hunker from outkit so yeah so pretty much everything got on the floor here what i took out to the north yorkshire Mosel will be coming with me down to south east england to ride the north and south downs on the great british escapade and I hope you can stick around and join me for that video as well. It should be coming up for you in a few days' time, for me in a few weeks from now. Comments, questions, uh, especially about this gear I take you with you. Uh, if you're going to be at a great British, British escapade, I hope you've got some ideas for yourself. Is there anything like, I'm taking that perhaps you haven't thought about, or you know, if you've got some ideas, I hope you get some good ideas from this. And uh, you know, if this something missing do let me know down in the comments below i'd love to hear from you right that's it give the video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye wash